Hello everyone, I'm Simone Kulisch and I'm happy to give a talk about how the game community makes use of social media, for example Twitter. In order to highlight what we can learn about player communities and which topics are relevant to them. Social media, including microblogging platforms such as Twitter, has become a useful and important communication channel for the game industry. To be in contact, to inform, to get feedback, and to communicate with the community. But what we can learn from this data, for example, which topics are relevant for the players? To better understanding of these communities, we conducted an explorative analysis of data data using the game Destiny as a use case. And in addition, we investigate if there is a connection between this data and in-game data to obtain a more holistic view of microblocking behavior. In this analysis, we collected two datasets. First, we collected tweets related to Destiny using the API providing by Twitter. Here in total, we collected data over a 50 months period, resulting in over 1 million tweets from about 250,000 users. And second, here we searched the profiles of these users for Xbox Gamer Tags or PlayStation Network IDs, which we then used for our second dataset to get more information about the daily playing activity of the game, and this include data from about 3,500 players. Yeah, based on our analysis of data, we can see that general topics causing negative reaction are directly linked with the game itself, such as survey issue, long downloading times, or different or unfair treatment of Xbox and PlayStation versions. Therefore, it seems advisable to react proactively to such problems on social media platforms so that the community can see that their concerns are taken seriously and will be considered. Yeah, in contrast, positive received matters mainly concern the community, such as community organized charities or topics related to the game. Especially we observe that social conversation not directly related to the game were an important element in our data. Therefore, our recommendation is to actively support these activities, which can be contributed positively to community building and positive worth of mouth. Regarding Twitter and gameplay activity, tweets can also have offer a valuable contextual information for understanding fluctuation in in-game activity, and game data can be useful identifier for events of interest. Twitter was also used to post fan art, and it seems to be a convincing way making fellow community members aware of one's creation. And furthermore, in periods of high in-game activity, usually after the release of a new content, we notice that players engage in preparing guides and then use Twitter to share them in a timely manner. So posting fan art or guides to official accounts can increase reach and is likely to please the creator as it shows that the developer cares about what fans are creating. And the last point which I would like to highlight is that we observe the players are using Twitter to look for teammates with whom they can play with. And this tweet showed us that this mainly takes place in an ad hoc fashion rather than in advance, which mostly like due to the nature of Twitter. Yeah, with this recommendation to support community effort, to react proactively if problems appear, to use in-game data in addition to Twitter data, for example, to get more information about event of interest, to advertise fan art or guides and to support players to find teammates. With this recommendation, I'm at the end of my presentation and thank you everyone for watching. All this is possible thanks to our sponsors, Playtest Cloud, Player Research, Balsamic, Adobe, The Book, how to be a games user researcher, UX is fine, Antidote, and Sketch.